Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your April bonus reading. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So, Gemini, uh, my intentions with this bonus reading is if your monthlies, if some of them, all of them didn't resonate for you, maybe something here will. So we're going to take a look at what is going on in love, life, and then advice, guidance, messages from spirit, the universe for you at this time, and then clarifying all that energy with the tarot. So welcome in. Hope everybody's doing well and staying safe and healthy during this time. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with everybody. Every single message may not be for you. Um, so please keep that in mind. Uh, it could be past, present, or future. Male or female watching. Doesn't really matter. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Jupiter. And energies could be interchangeable. So this could be something going on with somebody, situation around you. But it could affect you in some way. So please keep that in mind also. And if it doesn't resonate, please don't leave, leave me a lot of uh, negative comments. I will delete them. It's just not your reading this time. So hold out for future readings. So Gemini, let's see what's going on with you in love at this time. For this bonus reading for the collective. This is a general collective reading, not a private reading. For the general collective of Gemini, bonus reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter at this time, Spirit, please. Everything you need to know, Gemini, about me, decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for personal reading. Lots of stuff down below in the description box. Feel free to check that out. And if you're new and you want to check out my channel and if you like how I read, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. And you get about five readings a month, actually. So if you do, thank you. All right, Gemini. One more. I'm only gonna get one more good shuffle for you, Gemini. If they'll shuffle for me, I'll get one good shuffle. Thank you, Gemini in love. What's going on at this time for the general collective of Gemini's? Feeling this one. Our Lady of the Sacred Sun, and we have fifteen here, which is six. Six is about healing and balanced energy. Now, this is the Mother Mary deck. So uh, this is in reference to Mother Mary. So Our Lady is Mother Mary. So it speaks in that connotation. So, so she is a lady of the sacred sun, which would be Jesus. So um, a feeling like very spiritual energy, um, something very sacred and holy. Hmm. Could be a child involved in some way, shape, or form. So I do see a child there. So let's see what's on the bottom. Our Lady of Divine Presence, which is 14, which is 5. 5 is about challenge or change. So I feel like this is, you know, being true to who you are. Um, your presence, your personality, who you are. Uh, making something known having a presence of some kind, also divine energy making, you know, their presence known also. Some of you could have just given birth to um, a boy for some of you. I know we're going to clarify those energies with the tarot. So something, um, about making something known, um, having a presence, or speaking your mind. Uh, that, that is about love. So it's something with making a love known or something like that. But there's also, in reference to a child there, something very sacred and holy, um, spiritual. I don't know, maybe some of you are having, um, well, probably can't now, but... Uh, maybe having uh, a son baptized. I don't know, I'm just kind of, or want to. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so let's see what's going on in the life of Gemini. In the life of Gemini. This time spirit, please, for the general collective. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay, I think that's your card. The throat chakra. How fitting, because Gemini represents the air signs, and the air signs are all about communication and this is the throat chakra which is about communication speaking uh voicing an opinion you know anything that has to do with speaking and communication here so we have 29 here which is 11 
which is about being on the right spiritual path, going down the right path. Then you have two, which is about unity. So needing to uh, speak something here, I feel, throat chakra. And then we have choice, 17, free will, courage, willpower, change. And that is eight. So that's about taking action, travel, and communication. Eight. Oh, so some of you need to make a choice here and gain courage to make a change to have free will or something. And it's all, all going to start with some form of communication in some way. And this could be about anything. It could be a person, place, or thing, a situation, a career, something with career here. So we'll see what that is for you. I feel like someone needs to voice their opinion about some sort of change or choice they want to make in life. Having free will and willpower to do that. So some of you may have trouble <sighs> making this choice and having the courage to make change. And starting that, it all starts with communication. So let's see what your advice, guidance, messages is from the universe, from spirit at this time for the general collective of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter at this time for Gemini. What do they need to know? What is the message, advice, or guidance? I have a feeling that one. Face your adversities. Hmm. So there may be something here that is a challenge in your life right now. And you need to make a change, like a major change. But you're lacking maybe a little bit of courage or the lack to speak up or speak truths and clarities. Wow. Okay. Needing to take action on something here. Except what is dying. So it doesn't mean anyone's dying. It just means if something is no longer serving you, it's no longer fulfilling for you, person, place, thing, situation, it could be work, career, uh, a person, a friend, a family member, um, a loved one, a lover. It could be anything. Something is no longer serving you, is no longer fulfilling. It's kind of fade, fading out, fizzling out. It's not working anymore. Maybe time to face that. And that may be what you need to speak up up, speak up on and uh, having the courage to do that, to make that choice to move on. So you see the horse here is kind of like moving on. All right, so adversity. So what challenges do you have? All right. Whoa. <laughs> My deck is sticking. All right. Let's get one more good shuffle. Then we'll look into love for the Geminis. All right, Gemini in love. What is this divine presence and sacred sun about for Gemini? Please spirit for the general collective. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Two of swords. Indecisiveness energy. There's that air energy, which is your energy. Maybe blocking something, someone. Blocking your heart, indecisive about something here, needing to make a decision, feeling a little uh, worn out, beat up, <laughs> bruised, been through something here. All right, so what else here? Ace of Pentacles. So here's an offer. If somebody's not speaking the offer, and it could be this throat chakra over here, why that's coming up. Needing to speak, but blocking your voice. But the Ace of Pentacles here is a divinely guided brand new beginning to stability, security for the long term, growth, abundance. Um, somebody could have made an offer to you or you're wanting or you made an offer to someone. But somebody isn't making a decision here and they're feeling a little blocked off or blocking, blocking the offer or blocking their heart because they've been through something here, a little beat up and kind of torn up. Yeah, about uh, maybe their past kind of energy also. All right. Maybe some of you have a child and afraid to tell this new person that you have a child. 
because maybe they, they want to get serious now. Pentacle energy is very stable. It's secure. It's grounded. It's sincere. It's long term. Something you can bank on, count on. Somebody's feeling torn up, beat up about something. So let's see what we have here. Queen of Swords. So yeah, king or queen. Here's that air energy again. So divine energy also. Divine intervention. Having truth and clarity. Speaking with communication, uh, clear communication and clarity. Someone needs to be honest. Swords is about honest communication. It needs to communicate something to somebody here. Or somebody may be holding back an offer because they haven't been upfront and honest. Maybe there's children involved and they're, they're afraid to tell this new person to make that presence known that there's a child, they have a child. So they're not sure how this person would react. Maybe uh, you or your person's had a turbulent past, you know, and maybe now you have custody of the child, but you're afraid to tell this new person, you know, this is my past, this is what happened, and now I have custody, you know. But truth needs to be had here in some way. So what else here? Death. Yeah, so something ended. I feel like somebody had a major ending. Doesn't mean somebody died. I mean, it could, but not here. I feel like um, something ended. It's about endings. And then transforming and healing and then having a new beginning. So somebody definitely has been through the ringer. Some kind of ending here. And I think they're afraid to vocalize what happened here. Yeah, painful, hurtful ending here with the Three of Swords. Somebody had a painful, hurtful ending, and they're afraid to communicate the truth about their past because we got the two and the three, about what ended for them, how they felt beat up, worn, and you know, torn up about their past. They want to offer something, but they're hesitant because they're blocking their, their uh, mouth. But they have the offer right there in their hands. It's tangible. The world. Yeah, so they close out a cycle here. world is about closing out cycles, closing out chapters, starting new chapters. So definitely they've closed out a chapter, want to start a new chapter, but hesitant here. All right, what else for Gemini? The lovers. Yeah. Yeah. Soulmate energy here. Lovers, soulmate twin flames. Someone definitely wants this soulmate union. Wants this, but there's something here about their past. They're afraid to communicate for some reason. So maybe, uh, yeah, again, ten of wands. Burning some ending here. Now they're waiting to invest. Not sure if they should invest. Analyzing, assessing, processing. You know, what should I do? They want to offer the Page of Pentacles. Here it is, and they have it right here. So they want to offer this pentacle, but they're hesitant. They're nervous, they're stressed, they're worried about this. But here's healing, divinely guided energy, faith, hope, optimism, wishes, dreams coming true, but they're stuck in their head. Stuck in their head. So, yeah, single. So both could be single, but on a pause, nothing's moving. Again, with the beat up energy. Someone's beat up here. But there is divinely kind of brain of beginning in love. Wanting this brand new beginning in love. But waiting, 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 waiting. Oh, okay. All right, I could go through the whole deck. Knight of Cups here. Yeah, so definitely somebody wants to move forward in love. And passion with the Knight of Wands. But they don't know if she sh they should move on or not. Queen of Wands. So, you know, fiery passion. So... If you are your person, uh, if it's not you, then just know this is your person. So if you had inclination that maybe uh, there's something going on that you don't know, but you're unsure, and you could be thinking, oh, third party, I think it's they may have a child, actually. Um, so keep that in mind. All right. So, but they do want to offer you something long term. They want this love. It's soulmate, twin flame. Uh, divinely guided energy it's all here but they're a little uh, scared because they may have a child and they're afraid to make that presence known all right Gemini let's see what this choice is speaking up on a choice a change here what is that about for Gemini 
All right, so we have the Knight of Swords. So this is moving fast, travel, action, communication. So the Tower, Epiphany, Aha moment. Oh, breakdown, shake up, shake down, Knight of Cups, moving forward with peace, harmony, balance, um, compassionate energy. But we've got the Six of Wands in reverse. So this is about, you know, success and victory. But in reverse, it's not. No success, no victory. Someone could be stuck in their head, stuck in their ego. So I feel like here, because we see the horse here and the horse here. So definitely, they're going in opposite directions. So somebody is conflicted here about making a conscious choice to speak their truth on something here that they want to make a change here. Could be about, you know, tower is a breakup, shakedown, ending, epiphany, aha moment, surprise. You may be worried about how this may surprise people or what they may think that maybe you want something just to crash down and end so that you can be in a more calmful, peaceful, joyous energy moving forward. Because I think no success and victory. So whatever you're stuck in right now, I think there's no success or victory for you. And it's like, it's just crumbling down anyway. So it's like, you know what? I just need to make this choice, this change uh, of my own free will and move this forward. But afraid, afraid to for some reason. Because the throat chakra is here. So needing to voice this choice, this change. Oh, seven of Wands. Yeah, feeling blocked off. Uh, being defensive on guard feeling blocked off that you can't do it when you can. Six of Cups. So this could be something you've wanted to do since childhood, a childhood dream, thinking back, nostalgia, memories, uh, childhood, uh, things of long ago. May have been a dream or something here. Maybe a choice or a dream that you had as a child. But, you know, never followed through on it. And now it's like, you know, I think I want to follow my childhood dreams. Making that conscious choice. Speaking that. Maybe you're afraid people will think it's childish or um, immature or something like that. All right. So could it even be something that happened to you in a past life? If that makes sense for anyone. All right, so what is face your adversities and accept what is dying? Eight of Pentacles, so putting in the dedicated work uh, work and effort. The Hierophant, so being committed to this journey, faith, hopes, you know, spirituality, religion, uh, learning, morals, values, institutional things such as the law, government, authority, um, education. And the Wheel of Fortune, so divinely guided energy. What's coming for you is meant to be. Divine timing and destiny. Fate. So what is coming for you is coming for you. Stay committed to the journey, working on yourself, moving forward. Here. But what is this? Adversities and accept what is dying. Three of Cups. So reuniting, celebrating, coming together. Page of Cups could be apologies, loving communication, kind of energy also. Speaking in a more loving, uh, compassionate tone energy. All right, so what else? The Emperor. So taking lead, control, charge, being a boss, entrepreneur, leader. You know, the Page of Cups can be apology. So, you know, maybe here, accept what is dying. Say, look, I'm sorry. You know, person, place, situation, whatever. I'm taking control of my life and I'm moving on. Celebrating that fact. Staying committed. You know, could, Eight of Pentacles could be learned something new. Mastering a craft. Maybe something uh, hard for you to learn or something you never thought you could learn. But now you're learning. Because the higher fitness here can be about learning, education. But this is divinely guided energy for you. So we have the four swords. So again, thinking, contemplating, uh, resting, healing, rejuvenating energy. King of Cups. So being in your emotions and feelings. 
having, you know, peace, love, harmony, compassion. Ace of Wands. So here's that fiery, passionate entrepreneurship energy, creative ideas, um, endeavors, excitement for something new here. That's divinely guided for you. And taking, you know, slow, steady action with the Knight of Pentacles. Being s slow, secure, stable, and grounded. Um, being guarded, I'm getting to. And just taking your time and moving forward in a new direction. But then you have also the Knight of Wands. So you have two energies here of being smart, practical, and grounded. But moving forward with drive, and pa drive passion, ambition kind of energy. And the king of wands so there's that leader again and the emperor leader uh creative energy entrepreneurship energy fire passion drive ambition the sun total happiness joy success victory in every single way happy home and family healing enlightenment most positive card in the deck with the sun energy so a lot of uh energies here for you gemini so i feel like I mean, this may not resonate with everybody, everyone, but for some of you who are dealing with someone who's been hesitant about moving forward in a relationship or a love, and you think there's a third party, I think it may be that just they have a child and they're afraid to tell you that because they're afraid you may reject them. For some of you here, uh, speaking up about making some sort of big change in your life, um, that you may be worried about what other people will think. Maybe it's something you've wanted to do since childhood. In some way and over here you know accepting what is dying taking lead control charge and maybe moving forward a brand new idea uh entrepreneurship uh, learning something new um facing adversities and that also wow okay gemini <laughs> sending you many light love and blessings best of luck to you and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light